hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are all doing well um i have just up and decided at the last minute to not stick to my filming plan <laughs> i feel like everything that could go wrong before i started filming i can't even talk did go wrong but i have just had some other videos kind of jump up higher up on my priority list for videos that i want to film and i'm going to be traveling for the next few weekends for work and other stuff and it's the end of my semester so i'm going to try to get at least two videos filmed tonight for you guys so the first video that i want to film i want to talk to you guys about some covers that i think are just absolutely gorgeous and the twist with this video is like covers for books that i've already owned and actually i've already read all of these books as well so let's just jump into it because we're being very it's just all about the cover baby even though <laughs> i think i did like most of these books a couple books were just okay but this one i did absolutely love and i'm pretty sure this book was in my best of books for 2017. i'm like talking in slow motion it's late sorry um this is the sun is also a star by nicola yoon this cover is beautiful to me i think it's because the cover is white and then you're just hit boom with all these exploding colors it also helps that like this is kind of raised a little bit so it also adds some texture like i did buy this book to read because of book two but i feel like if i had not had i saw this in a store that would have caught my eye and i probably would have walked away with it but it just ugh, i love the way it feels i love the weight of it and then also it really does not hurt if we're going to keep it real that this book is one of my favorite colors and it is purple and then like engraved in the cover is like this exploding star ah uh. I'm going to get up close so y'all can see that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And if you haven't seen the cover, well, the dust jacket, like this is engraved. Oh, I love that. Let me get back home a bit. <laughs> That's going to be interesting to edit. I might leave that in. That's real life. And I have to put the dust jacket back on right now. It feels wrong not to. So first book that I own that I think the cover is absolutely beautiful. The second one, I have raved about this so much. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. This is the first book in the Six of Crows duology. I love this duology. It definitely lived up to the hype for me. It was everything I thought it would be and more. But I was pretty sure it would be just the way they described this book. This book is about a heist. I love stories about heist. I don't know what it is with me but I do and for me what I love about this book is I feel like first of all the cover is beautiful okay but in addition to the cover I feel like this cover and everything is an experience you start off you got a book that's supposed to be like intense and stuff and the cover is black okay right then this is kind of raised off a little bit the wording six of crows is kind of raised off a little bit i love that like the crow is on there and it, the book just looks like the cover just looks deep and haunting but intriguing and just uh i just love it also i don't even know if i just said this <laughs> but the pages are black and it just adds to the experience for me and then you know you take the dust jacket off the book is actually black and written on the side is six of crows and red it's just an experience i just love what they did here and right like i just feel like this book is color coordinating to the t <laughs> then you turn around you got the red right here i just love it like what's on the inside matters but the outside don't hurt when it comes to this book because it's gorgeous um another book now this book was a total cover buy for me like it was one of those situations where i saw the cover and i thought i'm gonna need to have that and then i kind of was trying because i knew myself and i was like you're about to buy this seriously because the cover is so beautiful and i was like you need to make sure that the synopsis really sounds like you're going to be into it so i read the synopsis and i will say yes that did play into me wanting to pick it up but truthfully i feel like my mind was already made up when i saw this cover does this not look just like so ideal oh well 
does this not look so ideal and i actually got this on sale for 99 cents helpful but i mean yeah i would want to go there and have tea i first of all also here are things that attracted me to this this cover is like simple i love that it's it, this cover is glossy so that's a little different like there is no dust jacket and i don't mind that and it's glossy which i do like and i feel like it's vivid enough but it's also serene enough like there's that perfect balance you feel me and then i don't know it just looks so like when i see this cover i think it looks ideal i think it looks cozy homey but a little bit elegant in a way but oh like i would love to go there to have tea i also love tea so that does not hurt at all but the cover just looks so beautiful to me let me show y'all too lazy to get up this time <laughs> and then the back there's nothing special on the back it's literally just the summary but yeah the pages also aren't a specific color but the the cover makes up for that because the cover is beautiful and i think the glossy print i don't know i just feel like the glossy finish like really works for this book so i love that the next book this was a total cover slash synopsis buy for me i remember and actually both of these books i used to go to my bookstore on campus when i was in my master's program and they had like different bins like the 99 cent bin the two dollar bin the three dollar bin five dollar bin blah blah and this one was not in the bin and i kept telling myself like you need to get back to the bins this one was actually next to the bins that's how they get you and i'm kind of scared to take the sticker off at this point because i think i've waited too long um but this is winter street a novel by ellen Hildebrand. I am really torn on finishing this up because I just it was just okay like it wasn't great to me it wasn't great to me there were elements that I did like but then there were elements that I wouldn't the best thing I can tell you about this book is think cheesy hallmark Christmas movie in a book now I am into that sometimes especially around the holiday season I just get into it I don't care how cheesy it is I love all the Christmas stories where they're like I'm discovering the Christmas you know magic and all that I live for that stuff so when I saw this cover I immediately thought of that and I was like I need it plus I also remember that I don't think I was really getting to spend a lot of time with my family and so I was just like I just want a book that's going to be comforting but just also all about family and stuff and when I saw this cover once again I thought yeah I'd go there I'd want to go there and it just it's just captivating like the colors are so beautiful you can see the snow is falling they have a wreath on the door like I almost wish Winter Street was like moved up so that you could see the whole door but it just looks so like I don't know when I see this I just think like that ideal the picture everybody has in their mind of like what everybody's house looks like around Christmas time you know like and I know it's an ideal right some people's house probably does but it's just beautiful like it's just beautiful so I love this cover and then the final one that we I don't even know that we talked about this but I did pick this up now you guys know I actually have the paperback book for Harry Potter but it's not going to stop me from buying all these illustrated editions I need them okay and my favorite book is book one and book three and I bought the illustrated edition for book three now I've had this for quite a minute but um I don't we haven't talked about it but the I love it so much I I am biased but I think this might be the best cover so far <laughs> um it's so it just captures the book and the storyline in this so well it's a little haunting um but I don't know the purple makes me feel a little safe but then the green's like are you sure you're safe kind of thing I love that this is raised up right here and it has that texture to it I like that like roughness and I think that goes with the book very well I love the purple that they chose I love the way they decided to bring the the bus to life and just oh I just love it I actually don't even know if I Oh yeah, 
that's right I did who am I kidding yes so here's the with the dust jacket off it's like a really pretty purple like I said I love love purple and the illustrations in here are honestly amazing I actually have not read this illustrated edition yet I actually want to start with the first illustrated edition and read it but I mean like look at this look at this We're experiencing this together. Let me see if I can find another full page. Now nah, because I'm, ooh, did I find one? Oh no. Maybe I can't find another full page. Oh, here's, oh, this looks creepy. <laughs> this looks really creepy. <laughs> but here's another full page. But it's just so beautiful. Like, uh, I just think this cover is beautiful. I feel like that's all I had to say about all these. I think they're beautiful, but I, just a chill video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to know down below what book covers you think are absolutely beautiful. It's so interesting to see how much variety that is. You know, I have book covers that I think are beautiful and they're very abstract, super simple book covers, super extravagant, over the top book covers. It just, you know, it just depends. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.